DigiKey and Adafruit present This week's Ion NPI is from TE. Lady Ada, what is the NPI this week? This week's NPI is this series of like really durable and cool looking. I mean, the cool looking is not as important, but uh, cool looking uh, weatherproof and waterproof um, connectors from TE. This is called the Super Seal Series, MCON. It's part of a TE app. And um, they have two pin and three pin connectors. They look like this. These are like IP67 to IP um, 6K, 9K, depending on whether you use like these extra seals that you can get, I think, or the, the way you construct it. These are extraordinarily uh, high quality connectors and the price was really low, like compared to like what I would normally expect this kind of connector would cost. But they're like really nicely made. Um, they're like less than a dollar and you know, you get um, a lot of sealing and vibration proof and like latching protection with them. So I think if you're if you have a situation where you're building a project, you need to be outside, you need to be ultra durable, like weatherproof, deal with vibration. You don't want the cables to come loose, and um, even if you need a lot of current, these are pretty big connectors as well. Um, although they're not they're not that big, but they're they're big enough to carry a couple amps of current, or you can connect them to solenoids or motors or whatever. Uh, anything that has two or three pins, I kind of like these. So this is one uh, set of the, set of the connector half. And then this is the other half, um, and they mate together. What I thought was really nice is, you know, some people say, like, well, why get these connectors when I can just buy connectors off of, like, Amazon or eBay for, like, five cents a piece? And what's nice about them is that you get, like, really good documentation. Like, look at this step file that you can download from TE. Like, everything is modeled for you um, and comes with instructions and rating and grading and all that. Um, you can get pin contacts from DigiKey. Um, they don't have a video about this particular product, but they, there is a great video on TE on how to crimp connectors. And, you know, I definitely recommend checking it out because to get the, the quality that you expect from this, like the, if you want to be rated for the rating and actually fulfill that rating and that vibration proof and that durability, you do need to crimp it correctly. You need to have the right crimping tools, which are not inexpensive and you have to know how to do a good job, but it's definitely worthwhile. Um, this is one of the trade-offs with connectors is like you want to do it right if you want to get the quality that you're paying for with the connector. Um, another thing that's really neat is I think this is part of like the like the 6K, 9K IP rating is there's these little um, like, I don't know, like waterproof silicone nubs that go over the contacts to add another layer of waterproofness so that water can't ingress through the connector port. Um, so I can actually show that on the overhead because I thought that was this was kind of neat. So um, this is like a pin contact and it comes on a, uh, a strip like this. And then um, before you insert it, like, you know, pretend I just crimped this, um, you put this like silicone nub thing over like this and see how it, it, it's a very strong press fit and gives you like three little rings. Um, and then this is crimped, of course. And then when you insert it in, you can barely see the yellow here on this side. Um, it just makes sure that there's no, you know, because there's a seal um, around here. This is a silicone seal, but then you want to make sure that there's no water that can get in through this little spot here. Um, these little nubbins, for lack of a better term, um, gasket nubbins, uh, will protect um, the contacts as well. So you can put them on either side, the, the socket or plug. And then... Um, what I also liked about this construction is that like this part can latch onto something, which I thought was kind of neat. There's a little latching part. So you could have this like mechanically lock onto something, even that's a free hanging connector. And let me see how you, I always get these a little backwards. So this, yeah. So uh, let me get one that's closed. Okay. So these two um, connect together and I think it's this way or is it this way? Sorry, it's this way. So they, they lock in and you can kind of feel that there is this, um, this ceiling that's made. And then this part can push in. And then when you push it in, it's like locked and you have to pull it out to unlock it. And then to open, you have to press down on this piece. So like basically once this is in and clicked and then this is locked in place, this is like never coming apart. Like that's, that's completely solid. 
And it's just one of those things where like, you know, know, why do I care so much about connectors? I have seen so many projects fail because of bad connectors. And it's such a tragedy because it's like every other part of the project is perfect and great. But then like the battery cable isn't well cramped or it's not waterproof or weatherproof or like solidly sealed. And that's the failure point because this is this is what's going to move and vibrate and um, shift around in your design more than almost anything else. This is you know the the connectors are your your greatest uh, surface of risk in a project. And so I really like these connectors. They're TE makes really good quality connectors, and this is basically like automotive or you know industrial quality connectors. But the pricing is like maker and hobbyist pricing. So okay. you get you get the best of both worlds. And you can get these on DigiKey's site. We have the short URL and the URL, um, the product number. Yes, is. it's a series. So check out, like, they have the maiden connectors and the yeah. data sheets. And, you know, the, you can get the pins and the sockets and so A14, 14, 3, color so codings, MD. variations. Short URLs there. And we have a little short snippet of their video that I'm going to play. Yeah. Higher. When examining the finished crimp, first, check for any damage to the terminal or the conductor as a result of the crimping process. Note any deformation, such as bending, twisting, or crushing of any part of the terminal. The quality parameters can be found in the corresponding application specification. When inspecting the finished crimp, check the different facets of the termination to confirm that the crimp meets all of the visual requirements. The crimp height is a decisive quality characteristic of a crimp connection. It permits non-destructive testing and allows for continuous manufacturing control. TE has performed tests that show if a terminal is crimped to the specified crimp height with the correct tooling, and the wire is the correct size for the selected terminal. Then the electrical and mechanical performance will be within the required range. And that is this week's Iron MPI. You'll never be disappointed with a TE connector. That should be your mind. Hi, on MPI.